Example 93. Both of the estimators below are unbiased. Which one would be a better choice to estimate the parameter, A or B? All right, so this is interesting. It tells us that they're both unbiased. Remember, unbiased is a good thing. We want that in our estimators, but they both have that trait, so we can't decide among them based on that idea because they're equal in that regard, right? So remember, being unbiased means that they're centered around the parameter that you're trying to estimate. So this curve is the curve for estimator B. This skinnier curve is the curve for estimator A. They both are centered at the parameter value that we're trying to estimate, so that's why they're unbiased. But which one is better now that we know they're both unbiased, there's still going to be a better choice among the two. And we're going to base that on the variance. What we're looking for when we find an estimator is we want one that has minimum variance. In other words, the least variance possible. We want to try to find the estimator with the smallest possible variance. Of course, obviously the smallest possible variance is zero. We don't mean smallest theoretically, we mean, you know, is there an estimator with a smaller variance possible? If there is, we want that estimator as our choice. So of course, most at times we're not going to be able to get an estimator with zero variance. If we got that, it would mean that we know the precise value of the parameter all the time. You know, every time we do an estimate of it, we get it right. So that, that wouldn't make much sense. But obviously the smallest we can get that variance, the better. So remember, variance just means how the estimator varies. And you can see that by the graph. It's basically how spread out it is, essentially, right? How clustered it is, in other words. We want it to be highly clustered. We don't want it to be spread out. So if we have a choice between an, an estimator that has a distribution that looks like a smooth sloping hill or one that looks like a very really peaked mountain, we prefer the peaked mountain look because that look illustrates the idea of being highly clustered. If we take that highly clustered idea together with unbiasedness, we get something called MVUE or NVUE, Minimum Variance Unbiased Estimator. And so this is essentially our most desired type of estimator. We want to use these estimators only as point estimators. So we try to get the one that has the smallest variance that are also unbiased. If we can find those traits in one estimator, it'll be our winner. And so basically between A and B, clearly A is better because it's much less varied. It's much more clustered or condensed in a small area. And that's what we want, which means that when it misses its mark, it doesn't miss it by much, right? On average, it's correct. That's what unbiased means. But it also means here that even when it doesn't hit its target, it's not too far away because most of the occurrences of this estimator are right around the parameter. Whereas with the sampling distribution for B, you can see that it's far more likely, for example, that it gets this far out, which would be almost impossible on the A curve. So generally speaking, A is a more accurate estimator. On average, it's equal to the target, and when it misses, it doesn't miss by much.